G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. We are here with a brand new show. It is called Renegade Nell. Um, what is this show about? It is a set in 18th century England. Uh, Nell Jackson is framed for murder and becomes a highway woman. Most feared person in the country. With the help of a magical sprite called Billy Blind, Nell realizes that her destiny is bigger than she ever imagined. Um... That's fine. It seems to be a bit of a historical fantasy show. There's only eight episodes. That's cool. This originally aired at the, uh, the end of March on Disney+. Plus. I've heard nothing but good things. I know people who have watched it and enjoyed it. So we're going to check it out. It does seem like a show that's right up my alley. Otherwise, I wouldn't be reacting to it. But we're just going to have some fun. So let's get to it. Boss! What's all this, man? <laughs> Just picking up a straggle. I'll deal with this. You go quit yourself venerably. You're what? not a man. Clearly. Is that gold? It's what gold? That ring on your finger. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> now, do like you're told. <gasps> the hell? I assume that was Billy. And she's getting superhuman abilities. Okay. You can just, yep, superhuman abilities. I was gonna say maybe she just knows how to fight, but anyway. She got strength and speed. Like it was nothing. I wonder if she's actually bulletproof or she just used her insane strength and speed to knock it out of the way. She could kill somebody if she isn't hard enough. Like, that guy's probably got some bleeding in the brain right there. Damn! Yeah. Now, take this stuff. It's a straw cat. This is the very beginning of the 18th century, damn. Where'd she get the red coat from? I also like the fact there's no modern music in this one. I was disappointed with something like Artful Dodger when they did that. Roxy! Where's Roxy? Roxy! Your Nell's back! What? Nell! Your Nell! She's back! Your Nell? Hmm. Nell's dead. I'm widowed. Hmm. Captain Jackson, he's dead. He died. He was blasting off at the battle of So that's his uniform then? I knew you with him. That's what we heard. Oh. I wondered why everyone was looking at me funny. So, thing is, I was kind of wondering if I could stay here for a few nights. Well, I thought you didn't want anything else to do with us dead legs. Hmm? Didn't part on uh, good man. terms then, huh? Walk through that door with your swanky captain. This morning, Thomas, my steward received a delegation <laughs> from the village with an extraordinary story that you had shot a man's horse. It was an accident. 
They said you were drunk. Clearly you still is. Up and down the street, terrorizing people. That horse was Nathan Halliday's living. Do you understand nothing about these people's lives? He I'm doesn't care. To come to me for justice. One day, God help me, I'll come to you. <clears throat> I'm stopping your allowance. What? Until such time as I can trust you to behave. Properly. I don't know. Don't make me disinherit you, and Lord knows. You might just make Thomas kill you. Would be a thousand times more reliable. <laughs> Grow up. This is like today. I got held up by these highwaymen. You did One of them hit me. I did. And it's like, no, oh, something happens to me. Hmm. Does she it's know like, about and... Billy? The sprite? You should see me. I'm untouchable. That'll be him. Thomas. He was told to stay away. Where's your daughter? Which one? Sir. I'd like to see her. I'd like her to serve me. And trot her. Trot her. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. <laughs> he just needs to get punched in the face. What's this? That's my eldest. Nell. Hello. Aren't you dead? Were you after something? I wanted the other one. The other one isn't coming. She doesn't like you. She doesn't like the way you look at her and the things you say to her. And guess what? <laughs> <clears throat> Neither do I. I think I'd like you to leave now. Take your little idiots with you. Is there going to be a bar fight? Business up front, party at the back, huh? Thank you. Hey, 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 ooh. you might have made the mistake of assuming that I wouldn't hurt a woman. No. What? Wait. But now you know better. Damn, Thomas. No, no. I have to say it. Thomas is a cop. Plain is a. Where's Billy? Oh, in the mud. No, not the whip. No, oh, that was right across the face. Yeah. Yes, Billy. Fuck this guy up, please! She's gonna catch it. Yep. Here comes the beat the bitch! Nice. If only he'd followed his father's advice and stayed away from the village. Nice. Yeah, not so fucking funny now, is it? Nelly. Hmm. Nelly Jackson. Yeah, this is Billy. Oh, I've been racking my brains trying to work out the best way of introducing. Oh, what's this dude's name again? The comedian. What do you mean you're on my side? <laughs> Okay, well now she's learning all about Billy. I'll protect you. The question is why? Why? Who knows? The more immediate point is this. I can only protect you, Nelly Jackson. I will not take part in random acts of violence. You mean you let him whoop me about? And you could have stopped it? I did stop it. No, sooner! Yeah. You know when he was grinding my face in the mud. What happened to protecting her? Whoa. His name is George. I guess he came after she started bleeding. Who sent you? 
Where are you from? Look at you. What are you dressed as? I was brilliant what you did earlier. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Can we teach me how to? Yeah, sure, maybe. No, no. <laughs> no. All three answers she gave. You once told me that a man can sell his soul. Oh, are they going to kill the father? And in return get anything. Every Which I suspected was going to happen anyway. And that you are a person who can intercede in such matters. This isn't going to be good, is it? Keep the weapons on you, brother. Oh, man. Well, I'm scared for the daughter. What were you praying at? Thomas just wanted to frighten him and uh, teach him a lesson. We didn't Bullshit. know was going to burst. You realize that by covering up the truth, I make myself just as guilty as you. So, is he going to be disowned or what? That is unsuccessful as we thought it would go. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. That's so noble, wanting to sign up. Queen of the country. Wouldn't catch me doing it, not in a month of Sundays. I couldn't give a tinker's toot who sits on the Spanish throne. Why should I? Why should any of us? Let him get on with it, that's what I say. Still, on the other hand, nice to be a world player, eh? Nice to dabble in events. I suppose that's how she becomes a highway woman. If you want everything now. Assuming, of course, you still do. What the hell? Kill. Listen. You see, Thomas. Kill your father. The world helps those who help themselves. And this world needs men capable of extraordinary things. What stands between you and your estate? Hmm? Sister. Did you... Father, both of them. Like he just said, he killed a nobody. My father. You want me to kill my own father? Oh, I don't want anything. Mm. <laughs> it's you that wants things. And I wonder what his game plan is. Uh, Billy. Evil in the ether, Nelly Jackson. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. And it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't waded in and beat that Thomas up. I need to go there and I need Draw to walk through the cropper channels. What? That's not going to accomplish Sorry. anything. Who are you? They know. They know what really happened. Well, let them go. If it's not been accepted, let them go. Surely it's better this way. Halliday's reliable enough. He knows what he's doing. Since when? Consider it recompense for killing the man's horse. A good man's cause. This woman hasn't said a word this I've entire episode. You. I've humiliated you and I've allowed myself to be influenced by the wrong people. And I'm sorry. I want to put all this behind me. So not nah, there we go. turning them into orphans. You're going to make them homeless now as well. Oh, don't say that. They're young and strong. They'll find other paths to follow. Jesus Christ. That man is useless, really. I get packing. What are we gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. Go in there, guns are blazing. This may or may not end well. I know you're gonna get away with it because your sort, they always do. But you'll understand if I'm a bit upset. What can I do to persuade you to put that down? The truth. Hold up to your end of the fucking deal. All right. Look, I'll give you the truth. Mm -hmm. I've been an idiot trying to protect you. Yes, you have. 
You're going to face justice. No, what? No. I won't be dragged down and humiliated by you anymore. Bye bye. Face the consequences. Disinherited. No. It wasn't loaded. <laughs> this is. And here comes Billy. Yeah. I'll go on then. Have a go. See what good it does, yeah. Son of a bitch. I figured that was gonna happen at some point. You horror. You foul, accursed minister of hell. <sighs> she killed him. She shot him. She murdered my father. Yeah. Murder. Murder. You're a liar. You're He's gonna get away with it. Up, making threats. And now you've got an empty pistol in your pocket. I mean, please just kill him and be done with it, yeah? <laughs> and now she's on the run from the law. You'll hang for this. No, I won't hang. She saw what happened. You saw what happened. Mr. She's not going to say a word. You saw what happened. No, it wasn't. It was him. He killed his own father. Damn, Mrs. Belford. Flick it. Flick it into his head. Restless. I didn't do it. You believe me. You believe me. No one's gonna speak up. Get out, her! She's saying she didn't do it. Who did it? Yeah, she's not gonna say anything. Sophia! She did. Of course. I don't believe you. Well. What are you doing? Rosalind! Well, he can never come back. <laughs> ah, supremely fucked up situation. What's happened? Where are we coming? I'll tell you when we get there. Ah! Okay, so. Being framed for murder. Because. What's his name? Is a dick. Um, yeah, Thomas. Um, Sophia lied for whatever reason. The Rasslis is on the run with the girls. Um, yeah, so there is a supernatural element to this. She does get some superhuman abilities. So far, it just seems like strength and a bit of speed, maybe. Uh, there's no, like, super healing or anything. She still does get injured. Uh, yeah, Billy only comes in when her life's in danger. And what was that guy's name? Um, Poynton has a ring of some kind, some snakes. Not really sure what that ability does. But, yeah, I mean, I figured Tom was going to kill the father at some point. I think I think I said it even before the plan sort of came about, you know. Uh, father was mentioning him being disinherited, and I was like, "That's just gonna end up with him being dead." Um. Otherwise, I mean, she tried to join the army, wasn't successful, and her husband, or at least fiance, is dead. Captain Jackson. Uh, their father's dead because Thomas is a dick. I like the action so far. Um, it's not very cutty, and they do some creative things, like she punched that carriage door, and it flew off and slammed into that other dude, and then the whole bit with the whip was pretty good as well. Like, they actually utilized the whip, uh, wrapping around them, making them spin through the air and slam onto the ground, that sort of thing. That was always fun. Yeah. Uh, no modern music, as far as I can tell. It's all that sort of classic feel to it. I don't know if it's, you know uh 18th century music but it sounds like it should be but it's probably not but at least it's not like joker and the thief um like the artful dodger was that drove me nuts but that was good um and that's really it um i don't really know what Poynton's end game is i don't know what sophia's game is like we just said it was a very good introduction to the show the first sort of 
meeting with the outlaws really set the tone for it and everything <laughs> like, that's all i got uh i liked it let me know what you'll think about the show if you've seen it and that's it for this week's episode be sure to join me next week for episode two and as usual if you all enjoy this reaction and want to see more be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and of course join me next time i'll see you there